Hello and welcome to the Herald Gaming channel. Today, thanks to the kindness and generosity of my Patreons, I share with you my TLDR loot guide for Shadows in the Ice, the latest Icebrood Saga story chapter which released on the 28th of January. There are links below to the Guild Wars 2 wiki for the episode and all the loot shown here. So let's jump into it. Shadow in the Ice brings the continuation of the Ice Brood Saga storyline, opens up a new area of Bajora's marshes, gives players access to new light puzzles and light puzzle rooms, as well as introducing a new strike mission and a new world boss, Drakkar, along with achievements associated with this brand spanking new world boss. And of course, there's lots of new loot and story achievements and a new title or two to be won. So let's break down the loot. This episode's grand meta is your path to unlocking the new Shiver emote. I didn't manage to unlock it yet, sorry, so no show and tell here. It's a bit of a long old journey as well. Once there is footage, I will put a link in the pinned comment on the top so you can jump to that. Illuminated Boreal weapons are available at the Stillwater Speaker's Village at the waypoint of the same name. The Karma Vendor is a humble stone who has all the looty bits for the map and the weapons. Each weapon will set you back 1 gold and 150 eternal ice shards. Do check out the Illuminated Boreal Weapons Showcase in the card above. Every weapon is shown here so you can see all the beautiful glow effects added to these weapons. There are three new Bone Skinner inspired weapons arriving with this episode too. A staff, a scepter, and a focus. These weapons have a chance to drop from Drakkar, but I'm not sure if they drop anywhere else. Once I know, I will add that to the pinned comment below. The Gilded Reliquy of Raven gives you the Raven Ceremonial Sandals, Braces and Gown, but you must have completed the Trials of Coda Mastery Achievement, which requires that you participate in 20 Trials of Coda events on Bajora's Marches. The Trials of Coda are a newly added follow-on event to existing map content and will require a group to complete. Click the card above if you'd like to check out my video showcasing the raven armors on all the races and genders. If you secretly love fishing and want your staff to reflect your inner truth, then the still waters fishing rod has come to save the day, but you will need to complete the reel it in achievement where you must participate in 20 Coden fishing events to be able to purchase this bad boy. The Northern Air seems to be having a peculiar effect on the commander because now we have taken the golem's head from the strike missions. I have a bad feeling about this. But regardless, it colours up quite a treat, as you can see from crystalline pure ice to something more dark and sinister. A must-have item, I think. There is a new ascended accessory, Asgir's Talisman, but you will have to unlock the idolatry achievement where you will need to destroy 20 small Jormag idols across Bajora's marches. There are four new minis to collect, the Mini Corrupted Eagle, Ox and Wolverine, which all will require you to complete the Acolyte of the Lost Spirits achievement, which has you complete 20 shrine events for any slash all of the Lost Spirits of the Wild. The last mini is of a Cloud Seeker, a Coden who plays a part in the story. The achievement to unlock this mini is Unwelcome Whispers, where you'll need to cleanse 20 Coden cans. There are three new guild decorations to unlock as well. The Corrupted Shrines of Eagle, Ox and Wolverine. You must complete the Revelation achievement for each of the spirits to unlock them. These achievements are found in the Drakkar World Boss section and are related to killing certain champions whilst you're fighting the new big bad. Finally, there are two new titles for Shadow in the Ice. Corvus Luminiferous Gained. When you have completed the Luminiferous achievement, which requires you to complete all the light puzzles on Bajora's marshes and gifts you with a mastery point to spend too. 
and the other title is Queller of Profane Whispers, where you will need to complete all the achievement related to Drakkar, the Ice Dragon Champion. He is a no pushover for sure, good luck with him. So that's all the looty bits and titles for Shadow in the Ice. I hope you found my TLDR loot guide for the episode useful, and if you did, please do like this video and share it with anyone you think it might help. Subscribe and ring that bell if you think I've earned it and you don't want to miss any Guild Wars content coming up on the channel. And please do show some love to Molini, Jason Venter, Cub, Jolly Joe Star, Cody, Kilda, Dark Weaver, and all my wonderful, fantabulous Patreons, without whom I would be unable to dedicate the time and resources I do to my content creation. I can never thank you all enough. If you would like to help keep this one woman show up and running, there are links below. And if you're feeling inspired and want to jump into Guild Wars 2, there are referral links down there as well to the free-to-play game and the Path of Fire expansion, which now includes all the content from the Heart of Thorns expansion too. Thanks to the generosity of ArenaNet and their partner program, using any of these referral links directly supports my channel, but costs you not a penny more. Now I hope you will join me again very soon for more Guild Wars 2 Ice Brood Saga content. But until then... And so always, thank you so much for watching.